What's going on YouTube? It's your boy S. Johnson Kicks and Reviews and we're back with a Jordan 1 box as you can see. Orange and white. Y'all see what the description is. It's a JKO 1 personal size. No retail tag but I got one over here. 150 for the retail. And the colorway reads Rush Orange White Cell. Y'all see this is a retail pair. I had to get them for the review. Let's get into it. As you can see, you got the lot number slash uh, production date right there. You got the Nike symbol right there and also the swish down here. Y'all see what's going on. Let's get into the other side. As you can see, you can see the quality control sticker right there. And here are the beauties right here, man. Y'all see that rush orange is pretty popping. They call them AKA the Syracuse colorway. It's a nice colorway, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really fond of the shoe, but I definitely will give y'all a up close look um, on the shoes. It just came out today. As you can see, you got the Nike Air. It's kind of like the Jordan ones, but it's a little different. And um, y'all can see how you got this pull away right here for the tabs, both sides. Check it out. Got the orange shoelaces inside. Plus, you got an actual extra pair. It's like a, not even a white, it's like a sail colorway. Pretty nice. Y'all see it, white and orange. It's got some like material. Can't even think of the name of the material, but if you know what the name of the material is, y'all can comment below. It's like a knit, I think that's what you would call it. When they had a fly net shoes, the same uh, kind of material. Um, decent pair. I love the colorway. Very nice. And also up here with all the AJKOs, I had the blue pair. Same thing up here. Very nice material for the leather right here. Very nice. It's a stamped on logo. I don't think it's embroidered. It's like stamped on. Decent quality, man. I like the leather. How the leather looks for the orange. Very nice. Nice material. I just don't like this uh this little netting material they got at the bottom. As you can see, you got a sail on the midsole. Uh, you got the orange bottom. Kind of reminds me of Air Force One Mid. Maybe that's what they were trying to get out of it. I'm not sure. I didn't never look into these shoes. Um, you got a little slight pull tab on the back. Go with a pull tab. Make sure you get your shoe in there right. Got some features of the Air Jordan One. You see the tag is slightly different. You know. Then you see the sides in here. Slides, I believe that's like the uh, lot number. I'm not even sure, but you see a size 13 in the inside. Pretty nice. Also in the inside, the insole is white with the orange logo, Nike logo. Pretty nice. And like I was telling you, with the tabs is sold in right here, so it doesn't let it go out anymore. But that feature kind of reminds me of the Air Force One Mid. Um, number was into those shoes, but these are very similar to those shoes, man. From what I can see, very decent. I love the colorway. Just wish it would have been like a leather, all leather shoe. Even if it would have had the same kind of build of the shoe, I would have actually liked it a lot better if they would have had it, kept it leather. But I know the Air Jordan One KOs are known for this type of material, this fly net material. You can see you can get real close to it. Different, definitely different and to each its own. I like that they did incorporate the same orange from the box into the shoe. Well, it's a little different, but the leather part matches, definitely matches as you can see. So that's pretty cool. I like the colorway. I really like the colorway. We should make some regular Jordan ones with this colorway. And uh, yeah, nice shoe, man. Let's do some B-roll and then 
I give you my honest opinion of what I rate this shoe. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's a pretty decent shoe. Uh, like I said, I can't get enough of this color combination that they got. It's a bright, popping orange. Very, you know, summer-like vibes to it. Very nice. Um, for the rating though, as far as the colorway, I would give it an 8 because of the colorway. Uh, the different materials kind of bring the score down overall. I would probably give it like a six because of the materials, but I know this is how the shoe is made and it is what it is, but I'm not really feeling the materials, but the quality of the leather and the overall colorway is very nice, but I'm still going to stick with a six for the rating. So, uh, this your boy S. Johnson Kicks and Reviews, and we're out.